YouTube. What's up? We back with another one. Got a little bit of spin action, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I ain't had a professional haircut in a minute. That want my line looking. <coughs> You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all giving thanks for the things y'all do have. You know, this, that, and the third. It's going to be a short video. Uh, This video is going to be about just basically a reaction. You know, I don't edit my videos or nothing. You know, a, a little bit more professional channel would have the video I'm talking about playing. But there's a viral video circulating of a young black man at a cookout with his family and friends and they serving hamburgers and hot dogs and this kid is ashamed of eating a hot dog because I guess it it, it might be portrayed as a uh, looking homosexual bruh if you can't eat a hot dog in public cause you worried about looking gay you got a little, you, you, it's a little bit, uh, 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 you got a little bit, uh, you got a little bit, uh, a little bit more problems on your hands, bro. I'm just being real with you, bro. If you can't, if you worried about somebody questioning your manhood because you eating a hot dog, now, now hot dogs, yeah. To me, there ain't, ain't no gay way to eat a hot dog. Lean head to side, bite. That is it. What it? Now something like a popsicle or a banana. You know, you get to putting a whole banana in your mouth and you doing all this, that, and the third. Yeah, not, not. You know, you can, you can, oh, you can peel a banana and break it and then just, you know, toss it in your mouth. That's how I eat my bananas. Cause I'm not finna be putting, a, you know, you know, I, I, I break it, chew it, you know. Cause yeah, that's kind of suspect. But even even if I'm eating a popsicle or ice cream, bro, I'm gonna enjoy my food, bro. Ain't no food gonna, ain't no food gonna make me less of a man than what I am. Now, if y'all got, if y'all have that much insecurity about your manhood, then you got underlying issues, my boy. You might be you 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 might not be as manly as you think. If you can't eat a hot dog in public, and people get, get to questioning you, bro, you might got you might not be as manly as you think, bro. Like I'ma just keep it funky with y'all on YouTube. I'm I don't I'm not I don't make these videos to try to be somebody, try to be, oh, I'm so cool, this, that, and the third, I'm the most manly man. No. I just when I see things, I react to them and it's like, bro. When I'm watching this video, the man trying to, he trying to cover up the, the that he eating the hot, he got the Dorito bag, you know, trying to cover up. Bro, you look so uncomfortable, bro. You can't even sit back and enjoy your food because, man, I'm finna enjoy my food, bro. This my food, I'm eating. Like, that's, bro, the time you spend eating is a sacred time, bro. Eating and sleeping. Those are some those are sacred times. Like me personally. I don't mess with me with don't I'm not gonna mess with nobody sleep and nobody food. I've I've worked in in food for many years of my life. My first few jobs were in food, in kitchens. And I would I have never done anything to anyone's food other than cook it to the most proper way that I could possibly cook it. Because that's a sacred time. If if I got beef with a person, I'm not gonna go behind your back and sneak and put something in your food and laugh laugh about it behind your back. That 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 is less than manly. And I, 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 if I have a problem with you, I don't have no problem saying, "Look, if I'm that scared of you to where I can't come in your face and tell you, look, hey, this is my issue with you X Y Z." Boom, 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 boom. I'm just gonna let you make it. It's it's dead if 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 I'm not if I'm too scared to talk to you about it, then it's dead. I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. 
or if you sleeping, I'm not gonna come mess with no, no. I'm wait till you wake up. I'm not even gonna wake you up as I sleep. Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? When, when I was younger and we used to do the sleepover thing, you know, with your homeboys, go play Xbox all night, fall asleep two, three in the morning. Bro, I'm not messing with none of my homies while they sleep, bro. Like, when you sleep, I got your, if, if you sleep and I'm up, I got your back, bro. Like, something pop off, I'm gonna make sure I got your back, bro. If I'm sleeping, I would want you to do the same for me. That's a sacred time, bro. So, I'm not going to be uncomfortable eating my hot dog because I think you know. And even, even if I'm eating a banana, I'll take a banana, put it in my mouth, and, and eat it straight like that. You're not going to tell me, oh, you gay because you eating a banana. Man, I'm not trying to hear that, bro. I'm not trying to hear that, bro. I, got, I, I, have, I have a homeboy that's a homosexual. And I'm I'm man enough to where he was my friend before he came out the closet. He was always kind of feminine, always had a you know a little extra swag about himself. But everybody, you know, he was cool. He wasn't he wasn't lame. So I rock with him. You know what I'm saying? We he was bro, we went to school together. So you know what I'm saying? We came out the closet all the time. Gay. Man, I'm not I'm I'm man enough to where I, you still my dog, bro. All the time we spent before this, I'm not gonna just Oh no, I'm not cool with you no more, bro. You're gay, bro. What you 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 being gay ain't got nothing to do with me. St straight like that, <laughs> it, it don't got nothing to do with me, bro. I I I'm man, I bro. See this this y'all gays are here to stay. Discriminating against a gay person is like discriminating against a black person or discriminating against an Asian person. Just because they're different don't mean that they're subject to any different treatment than anyone else. That don't mean I have to uh, 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 agree with everything and oh yes, uh, this, that, and the third and oh my gosh, yes, cater to you. No, do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. I, I don't I don't care about nothing you got going on. When I clock out from work, I ain't got to... I'm not I'm not explaining myself. I'm not trying to make nobody feel good. I don't care nothing about you and what you got going on. If you my people, you know I ride with you. You know you can call me at any time. It, it's, it's over. It's straight like that. This is just, it's ridiculous, bro. You can't even eat a, you can't even, a sacred time like eating, you, you scared to do it because you don't want to seem gay because you eating a hot dog, bro. People been eating hot dogs for hundreds of years and you, you not man enough to eat, you not man enough to eat your hot dog comfortably. That's all it seemed like to me, bro. You that soft to where you scared how you gonna be perceived eating your hot dog. <laughs> boy, these guys, boy. And it was a young cat. He looked like he probably about 17, 16, 17. And, 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 his, and his friend recording him like, oh yeah, let me record him. Oh, look at you, you're eating a hot dog. <laughs> Like bro, y'all all y'all awesome lames. Y'all awesome goofies. You guys are goofies. Wherever you guys are from, y'all are lame. Them, them be the same guys walking around with big guns all the time and, and ain't got no kind of hands for nobody. Like I said, I don't come on here trying to be a tough guy. I keep it real. Like I said, I got gay. I, I'm, I'm comfortable enough in my man, masculinity to where I can see a, 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 a gay dude that does his makeup and look at it objectively and say, man, that dude did his makeup really good. That shit is blended. That shit looks... It looks fucking flawless. Now, if you're not comfortable with your masculinity, oh man, you gay, you you 
gay, man. How can you say that? Bruh. Makeup is an art, bro. Makeup is an art form. You have you have straight men that do makeup for women and make money. Makeup is just like painting or drawing or tattoos. So what what what? Or you look at a gay dude and he's swagged up. And you it, there's no denying that he's swagged up. Me, me objectively saying that, oh man, bro, yo, bro, the man swag on point. That don't make me gay. Cause I can I because I can appreciate that that bro it's bro outfit is on point, it's coordinated, the colors, the, the, the shoes, the, the fit is hard. Now would I wear it? Probably not. But it's hard. That's that's not my swag. But I can I can appreciate that. That's that 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 swag is hard. That fit is hard. Or like I said, bro, makeup is on point. You see some of these, some of these females makeup. You be looking at them like, oh my gosh, you, why you got, why you look like it the clown by the face? Cause they they don't know, they don't understand, the, they, they not understanding the makeup dynamics. They got too much going on, and it's like, bro, that just look, it's it's off putting to me personally. That's just me speaking objectively, bro. If we can't, if, if I can't throw some hot dogs on the grill and, 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 and put some relish and some mustard on it and, and smack it without you recording me and snickering, bro, I'm not even going to be around no lames like that, bro. Like, bro, serious, seriously, bro, hot dogs, bro. We we can't even eat hot dogs now, bro. We First off, we can't even eat. It's a difference between sitting there and sucking on the banana, licking all around it. No, don't nobody eat no bananas like that. Bro, you peel it, put it in your mouth, bite it. It's a banana, bro. Eat it, bro. Or if you eat an ice cream cone, some people like to lick their ice cream cones so it's a perfect circle and then suck on it. You know, that's how you want to eat your ice cream cone, bro. That's your food. That's your sacred time, bro. People are just where is the where is the masculinity going, man? That's why I don't like Gabriel Union. I, bro, Dwayne Wade. Me growing up looking at Dwayne Wade, you would think, man, this is the epitome of masculinity. This is the apex predator. This Dwayne Wade is, you know, growing up, you look at him like, man, I would, I. I would love to be like that man right there. But then he get with Gabriel Union and not the man's son. He he calling his son a girl and he accepting it and bro, what? Where's the masculinity? Where and you know it was Gabriel Union. It, it had to be her. It hundred percent had to be her. You can't take this this top male athlete I'm talking about apex I'm talking about a, the epitome of a, of masculinity is Dwayne Wade in his prime and then you get and then his 12 year old son talking about like how can you be in a house with him and, and say man this is my dad look at how strong look how masculine he is look at how just everything about him screams manliness but you want to be a woman so you know it couldn't have been him it had to be Gabrielle Union and then they did an interview him and her where they was he just seemed so uh, submissive and passive and oh yes uh, um, oh yes whatever she says goes basically it's like bro what What? Now, now I can understand. Yeah, she she really got it going on. She got her own thing. She bring it to the table. Yes. So, in the grand scheme of things, she ain't gotta explain herself to you at all. But at the same time, you ain't gotta explain yourself to her. So, so in Dwayne Wade's house, when he puts his foot down about on some. 
She can under she can undercut that. Nah, bro, we doing it this way. He gonna go for it. He gonna ride for it. My daddy used to say when I was growing up, my mom and my daddy always made my daddy. You know, my daddy was a breadwinner or whatever, but my mama, she always kept a job. She always, you know what I'm saying? She always put something down. But it would come times where a decision had to be made and they would disagree about it. But at the end of the day, my daddy always had to find a decision. His decision might be, oh, yeah, you're right. He might, he might agree with his wife and do it her way, but it would be him agreeing to it. But when he would make a decision and when he would put his foot down... He would say, I, I got to put my big draws on. That was what he would say. Then he would flex his pants, like lift his pants up. Yeah, put my big put my big draws on. It's a big draws move. Meaning, he wear the big draws in the house. That, he, he put his foot down. Now, you, now, my mama might be mad. They never, I never seen my folks argue or get to throwing stuff and yelling. I ain't never seen none of that. I see them, I see my dad get into it. They'll, they'll talk about something and then, and then my dad will just be like, all right, all right, all right. Then he'll leave out, go, you know, go to the bar or go ride around, do whatever. Come back, you know, blow steam off, come back and then everything be cool. I ain't never seen him put his hands on him. Never seen nothing out, out of I ain't never seen my daddy get out of pocket with no female. It just is what it is. I, bro, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You got what? I, a man can't even eat a hot dog without people thinking he gay. Bro, if you that worried about people doubting your masculinity because you eating a hot dog, bro. There's some issues in that. That's all I wanted to say, man. I just wanted to come on here, speak objectively, let y'all, you know, get into my mind, I guess, because this is ridiculous. How you, what, what? Really? We can't even eat hot dogs no more? And then I respect this is what I tell people. If I'm chilling with a dude or I'm working with a dude and giving me some gay vibes, like you saying a couple things kind of out of pocket, I'm going to call you out. I'm like, bro, that kind of out of pocket, bro. That kind of, you know what I'm saying? That kind of suspect, bro. But I tell him all the time, like, bro, I'm still going to rock with you if you gay, bro. I respect the man more that'll tell you, yeah, I'm gay. Versus being gay and not telling you. I'm going to respect you way more. And like I said, I'm still... If we was rocking before you told me you was gay, I'm still going to rock with you, bro. I, I, you being gay ain't got nothing to do with me. I, I don't have no... Like I said, my masculinity is not in question at all. I do not... I do not have no gay thoughts. <laughs> I don't look at no man and be like, oh man, look, ooh, ooh, ooh. I can look at a man objectively and be like, bro, swole, bro, on point, bro, getting it in, bro, grinding, bro, putting in the work that, bro, is inspiring to me. Like, I, I, I'm able to do that because I know, like, I'm not worried about, oh my gosh, I, oh my gosh, oh. you can't even, like, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta do working out. You looking at a man getting gains in, you can't even, you can't even admire the gains because you, Thinking you looking gay. Nah, bro. It ain't none of that. Like, bro, like, like I said, I can look at things objectively, bro. And that's with everything in life. Like, I got the other video coming out about the, uh, 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 problem with drugs and stuff. That's me just looking at things objectively. Or, 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 this Black Lives Matter, all, all police are bad. Bro, miss me with that, bro. Miss me with that, bro. I can never get behind Black Lives Matter. Never. Never. I'm not finna promote anti-anything, bro. I'm not gonna promote anti-police because you got the kids who grow up all day life 
seeing people get bullied, seeing their mama get beat on by their daddy and their stepdaddy and seeing people get wronged. And they like, man, I want to grow up and be a cop and fight crime because crime is bad. And them be the good cops. Them be the cops. It don't matter if you black, white, old, young, woman, man. You a, you a black dude paying sacking your car break down in the middle of the road. They stop. Help you out. Guy traffic around your car. Hey, man, call somebody, man. I'm going to help you out for a little bit, but I got... You know what I'm saying? But you leave it to Black Lives Matter. That, that how cops end up getting killed for no reason. The, the, the police in New Mexico. The man had an AR-15. The cops seen it and was like, hey, man, you think I can get that from... He ain't draw his gun down on him. He ain't start yelling. He's like, hey, can you... uh, You mind giving me that gun? He let the man... He, he, let the man put his hand on a gun while in a traffic stop. Is that protocol? I don't know. I, I, I believe it wouldn't be protocol, but and he lost his life. But I'm pretty sure the anti-police rhetoric did not help his case. So let's just stop looking at things subjectively and start looking at them objectively. Let's start seeing things for what they actually are. Okay? Like I said, man. If you gay, be gay. It, 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 it. It's all good. If you gay, be gay. If you know somebody that's gay, don't make fun of them, bro. Let them be gay. It's, it's their life. Do am, am, am I going to teach my sons that being gay is cool. No, I'm not going to teach them that because they my sons. I'm not going to tell my sons, oh, it's okay to be gay. No, they're not even going to have no kind of concept of that because they're going to grow up with me. And I'm like, man, daddy ain't on that. My daddy is not with that. That's that's lame. That's goofy, bro. What, what are you on? My daddy, you you complete opposite of my pops. I ain't with that. So they already going to be subconsciously tuned to not go for the gay stuff. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit and tell my sons that being gay is cool. No, I'm not. And, and, and like I said, like I always say, <laughs> however people however people receive these videos, I don't be caring. This is just me talking, letting my thoughts out. So I don't care if you think that I'm a oh I'm a bigot, I hate gays. No, that. That couldn't be farther from the case. But I'm just not going to teach my sons that it's okay to be gay. I, I'm not going for it. I want to have pure grandchildren, bro. I want my, I want my, I want want their mama to have grandchildren. I want my mama to have great-grandchildren. If both my sons end up gay, <laughs> my bloodline stops right there. My daddy only had two sons. And of them two sons, it's only three. It's only three boys. No, it's only uh two boys from them from them two sons. My two boys, <laughs> We're the only only boys left with my last name, other than me and my brother. So unless we have some more sons, it's up to them two to keep my bloodline going. So it is what it is, y'all. But yeah, if you can't, if if you're not comfortable enough in your masculinity to eat a hot dog in public, you got you got bigger issues than that hot dog, my boy. You got bigger issues than them hot than that hot dog, big dog. Be real with you. I'm just gonna be real with you. This, this, that I, when I seen that, it it kind of made me upset because it's like, bro. Yo, you you can't even enjoy some food, bro. Your sacred time of eating is ruined because of your masculinity insecurities. You need to tighten up, bro. You need to tighten up. I'm not finna go and I'm not finna go hide and eat. I'm not finna cover myself up and eat. No, bro. As long as I ain't got nothing on my mouth, I'm not finna be covering my mouth and oh my gosh. Oh. Let me hide myself while I eat because I'm so uncomfortable. Bro, what? 
You sound so soft. You look so soft doing that, bro. Tighten up, big dog. If you watch this video, tighten up, bro. And your homeboys. If your homeboys watch this video, y'all need to tighten up, bro. Because that just looks so... Y'all look so goofy, bro. Y'all look lame, bro. Y'all can't even... Y'all can't even chill amongst yourselves and, and enjoy a sacred time like eating amongst your peers, amongst your quote unquote homies. Or like, or like, or, or it's another perfect example. You see the music video where NBA young boy, homeboy sitting on the uh, sitting on the counter, and, and young boy, young boy like, you know, in between his legs like just dancing. He ain't really got his butt on him. He like leaning his shoulders on him like that. And everybody, oh man, these guys are sus. These guys are gay gang bangers with the boot. Man, them boys been through so man, them boys been through so much together, bro. You don't know how many, you don't know if them boys ever slept in a bed with each other because it was because times were so hard. It was it, only one bed to sleep in. Or they got a pack in a they got a pack in a whip so tight to where they just squeezed up tight on each other. Or how many years these dudes done been down with each other, done, done did everything with each other, done made so much money with each other? You really think they? You really think they? You really think they can't hug each other and tell each other they love each other? Come on, man. Lil Boosie said, "If you love your brother, hug your brother, man." He said that back in the gout. You think them dudes don't tell each other they love? They love? They love each other, bro? You get, man, bro. If you grind with somebody for all them years and y'all really making major moves, really, really doing y'all thing, bro, what, bro? The man wasn't that. I, when I seen it, I when I seen it, cause, cause y'all already know, I'm looking at things objectively. I'm seeing that, yeah, these dudes really out here getting it, bro. That's a real. You know how happy they they was in that scene. Like, yeah, we got another hit. We making a fire a fire music video. I got my homies. We got the chi. You know what I'm saying? You know they have some, uh, you know they smoking good. You know, NBA Youngboy got them a box of Joes. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes ain't worried about, uh, oh, man, this might look gay if I'm dancing with my homie. Bro, what? Like I said, man, y'all need to tighten up, man. Y'all need to tighten up. That's another one. My 